Hey everybody, my name is Jim and this is my channel Retired to Resell. So we're going to get back to my regular weekly review where we look at my sales numbers for the past week and then dig in and look at some of the best selling items that sold on eBay and Poshmark. This week actually ended up really strong for me. It was a pretty good week uh, considering the summer slowdown and you know these past few weeks have been kind of up and down for me. But this week was a really strong week for me and we're going to go in there and take a look at the numbers and see how we did. Um, I also had a milestone. Uh, I'm not sure if you really consider this a milestone, but I sold the very first item that I ever bought uh, when I decided to become a full-time reseller. So we're going to take a look at that item and a few others. All right, so let's get in there and take a look at some of these numbers for the past week. Okay, so on eBay, I sold a total of 37 items and my gross sales was 1,311. So that was a pretty good uh, week for me on eBay. Poshmark was down quite a bit. Um, sold 14 items and only $347 in gross sales. Uh, Macari, actually I sold one item. That's the first time I've sold an item in a few months on Macari. Uh, $17 and it's kind of cool with Macari. Again, there's no... Uh, seller fees or anything so what you sell it for is the money you get so seventeen dollars and on amazon i ended up selling three items for 98 dollars so that puts the total of the week at 55 items and my total gross sales was 1773 all right a few more numbers to take a look at so my average sales per day was at 7.86 so really close to that eight items per day that i'm looking for um, average sales price was at $32.22 this week, and that's uh, up a little bit from the previous. So my average days to sell an item was right at 108 days, and my average cost of goods was $3.79 this week, which was down quite a bit. That's really good. I had some uh, really low-cost items that sold this week. All right, so those are the numbers, so let's get in there and take a look at some of the best-selling items. All right, so on to the first item. So... This item here is the very first item that I bought uh, when I was trying to decide if I wanted to become a full-time reseller. Um, I was just getting the idea, hey, maybe I can do some reselling. Uh, maybe I can get it to full-time. Let's try things out. So I still was working at my normal job, and I was going out to thrift stores during lunchtime or after work, and I just started picking up some items that I thought uh, might sell. You know, I didn't know anything about doing research on eBay, looking at sell-through rates, looking at even sold items to see what had sold. I was just going by my instinct, things that I liked, and I thought it would sell. So that is the first hint in reselling. Don't try to sell items that you think you like and that you think are going to sell. You have to do that research. You have to look it up, see what's selling, see what uh, items have sold for, and take a look at the sell-through rates. Because this item here, you know, I was, I'm was i a big golf fan. I play golf all the time. Uh, this was a Jack Nicholas Golden Bear uh, golf polo shirt. And, you know, I know Jack Nicholas Golden Bear. Hey, you know, everybody likes that guy. Uh, golf fans like that guy. So this shirt's going to sell. You know, I bought it for $5.99. Um, I listed it for, I think it was uh, 17 or 18.99 at first, um, and it just wasn't selling, wasn't selling, so I dropped the price to, I think, uh, 14.95, then down to 9.99. It still wasn't selling. Um, so I ended up taking all new, I delisted it, I took all new pictures uh, after I kind of knew what I was doing, said, let me see if I can get this thing uh, sold. <laughs> I finally listed it down to $5.95. It still wasn't selling. So uh, now I've got a 75% off sale uh, going on my store for items that just, you know, have been in there for over a year long. And uh, it finally sold for $1.49. So I bought it for $5.99. So I did lose some money on this item, but I'm glad it's out of my store. I remember picking this item up and being exciting. It's like, here I go. You know, I'm going to be a reseller. Uh, let's see if I can make this work. And uh, I lost money on my very first item. So again, a great tip for reselling. Don't try to buy items that you think are going to sell, that you love yourself. They may not sell. Just because you like something doesn't mean other people out there are going to love that item and are looking for it and there's a high demand for it. Like this here, this Jack Nicholas Golden Bear golf polo, zero demand for this item. I'm surprised it even sold at $1.49. <laughs> All right, on to some really good items that sold this past week for me. And this first one is another golf polo, but this one does have kind of a high demand. Callaway is a really good golf brand. Um, and when you're looking for golf polos like this, look for patterns that are really unique and different. 
just solid golf polo shirts. Um, they sell if it's a really good brand, but if you really want your golf polos to stand out and sell quick for decent money, look for the items that have really cool patterns. This one here I was really excited about, and I think these are margaritas, limes. They look kind of orange, but I think they're supposed to be margaritas and limes. Um, I actually wanted to keep this one in my closet and wear it when I went golfing, but this one sold so fast that I couldn't even keep it in my closet. I didn't get to wear it once, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, this was a really cool shirt. Um, again, I don't buy a lot of Callaway, uh, but again, this pattern uh, was really unique and different, and I knew it would sell. It sold in one day for $24.95, and I bought it for $6.15 at a Plato's Closet. All right, on to the best pair of men's shorts that sold this past week. And again, sticking with the really cool patterns, there's a lot of Polo Ralph Lauren shorts out there, a lot of vintage. Uh, but this one here caught my eye, really cool pattern, kind of an old vintage, you know, some hats, some travel type stuff, just some really neat patterns. Um, I've never seen anything like this out there. I knew it was a unique item and it sold for $49.95, one of the best pair of shorts I've ever sold. $50 for a pair of shorts is a really good price. And again, uh, this was a vintage, let me see if I can find the tag. Yeah, there's the vintage tag right there. Yeah, normally this is something that I would find at a Plato's Closet, but I did come across this one at Goodwill, and it cost me $4.99 at Goodwill, and again, it sold for $50, so a really great sale there. All right, next up for the best pair of men's pants, and again, the brand Hiltel, a really great brand to be looking for. Uh, this is the pair of Dude Contemporary Fit Chino Pants. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get down here to the tag so you can see the logo. There is the inside tag. There we go, there is the back tag. This one's a little bit different. It has uh, like this floral pattern here. Um, had a nice zipper pocket on the inside. But yeah, Hiltel's a really good brand to be looking for. You can find their jeans and their pants. They usually sell pretty quick. This one I had listed for $27.95. I ended up taking a best offer for $22, but I bought this one at Salvation Army for $3.75. Again, Salvation Army in my area has some of the best prices. They beat Goodwill and any other thrift store by at least 50%, it seems like. All right, next up is the best pair of men's jeans. And this was probably my number one sale of the week. And this was a pair of True Religion Ricky Relaxed Straight Leg Jeans. Uh, it was a really big size too, size 48 by 30. Um, but it was a really nice soft material. It's kind of a velvety uh, material. Uh, let me see if I can get down to the tags. I think it was just cotton. But um, let's see, there we go. Ricky Relaxed Straight Leg, size 48. Yeah, there's the tag. 70% cotton, 30% polyester. Uh, let's see if you can kind of see. I don't know if you can see from that picture, but it just had a really nice soft velvety feel to it. And there is the back tag, True Religion. And again, yeah, that uh, little horseshoe logo on the back pockets, that's how you're going to find these things. Uh, usually, again, True Religion is a little bit harder to find for me out there in Goodwills. This is something I usually pick up at Plato's Closet, but I was lucky enough to find this one at Goodwill for $6.00 and 99 cents and it sold for hundred and twenty dollars on ebay so my best sale of the week by far all right this one surprised me a little bit this is the best uh women's pants that i sold and it was for anthropology the wanderer and it was a camo crop pair of pants it did have uh, some cool features going on it had this nice belt feature right there yeah, let's see if we can get to the tag there we go by anthropology and there is the wanderer yeah, really cool pants. Anytime I see camo, <laughs> I usually take a look at it, see what the brand is. Camo uh, has just sold really, really well for me. And this was another item that I picked up at Salvation Army for $4, and it ended up selling on Poshmark for $24. All right, this was a good week for blazers. I sold two blazers. One was a Canali blazer, and this one here was a little bit better sale than Canali. Uh, I think the Canali item sold for $59.95. This one sold for $64.95, so I'm going to include this one as the best blazer sale of the week. And that was for this Orvis. It was navy blue, but it had the gold buttons. And here is the detail, the gold buttons, really cool buttons. Um, anytime you see something kind of unique like that, just rather than your standard, you know, black or blue buttons, um, that's going to up the price a little bit. It's kind of a more of a unique item. But yeah, it was a three button blazer. And here's some more pictures. There we go. There's another shot of some more buttons. There we go. Made in America. 
and there is the Orvis logo. Yeah, so there we go, Orvis Gold Button Blazer. I bought this at Salvation Army for $4.99, and it sold for $64.95 on eBay. All right, on to the best electronic of the week. That was for this Pentax IQ Zoom 35mm point-and-shoot camera. So yeah, point-and-shoot cameras, again, uh, if you haven't been looking for these, they usually sell really fast if it's a really good brand, like a Sony or a Canon. wasn't sure about Pentax. Um, I found this one at an estate sale, and so I... You know, when you're at state sales, I always have time to look things up uh, on eBay, see what's selling, how much they're selling for. Uh, this wasn't wasn't selling for a huge amount of money, but um, I only bought this for ten dollars at an estate sale, and it sold for thirty eight dollars. So, you know, not a bad turnaround. Um, again, pretty cool camera. It had a really nice zoom there. Uh, yeah, nothing too exciting about it. Uh, just another point and shoot camera for thirty eight dollars. All right, this was my one and only item that I sold on Amazon this past week, and this was for a book that I found at an estate sale. Um, when I'm at estate sales, I don't really look through every single book anymore. I used to kind of scan them all and just see what was selling, uh, but now I kind of know what I'm looking for. So um, I look for medical books, um, school books, textbooks, that type of thing. Those seem to sell the best for me. And this one here was called Exploring Creation with Marine Biology, Second Edition. Now, it was in really great condition. I didn't list it as new. I listed it as like new. This buyer here has it uh, listed as buy new. But mine sold for $74.95. So still, like new, $74.95. Uh, great turnaround out of a $10 investment. All right, next up is the best pair of women's shoes uh, that I sold this past week. And another pair of Crocs. Again, this one not quite as ugly as some of those other Crocs that I've sold in the past. Uh, but uh, I've never really seen this style before. It's called the Free Sale Clog. And it was a size 10. This style does not have the little back heel strap there that you normally see on Crocs. But yeah, these are just in excellent condition. I probably could have listed them as new, but um, they just weren't worn at all. Um, I did pick these up for $10 at a Goodwill and uh, listed these for $60. It uh, took a best offer of $50. So $50 from $10, pretty good sale. All right, next up is the best pair of men's shoes that sold this week. And that was for this pair of Nike Cosmic Unity Ghost Shoes. A uh, really good looking pair of uh, Nike shoes. Really good shape. Didn't have to do a lot of cleaning up. That's what I'm looking for in shoes nowadays. Um, i just getting tired of uh, really doing a lot of cleaning on shoes. So unless they're in really good condition, I'm probably not going to pick them up. Um, these, again, were in excellent condition. Uh, there's the soles right there. I bought these for $7.50 at a Salvation Army and sold for $80 at full asking price on eBay. So just a really great sale. And again, the inside tag here on Nikes, um, easy to look up. That DA6725 is the part number. This 003 is the color style. So really easy to look up. Check out the styles. Look at the solds. Um, get a good idea for what they're selling for and what the sell-through rate is. All right, and the last items we're going to take a look at are the best sporting good items that sold this past week. Um, I was at a Goodwill a few weeks ago, and there were some really good golf clubs finally in that pile of junky, old, ratty golf clubs that you usually see. There were a total of four Callaway irons um, in there and then one Callaway three wood. I picked all of them up, every single one of them. They were $4 each. Um, so that's a really good price. Ended up turning these around. I've sold every single one of these now. I sold the other two a few weeks ago, and then I sold these two irons this week. This was an eight iron that sold for $34.95, and this four iron sold for $47.95. So yeah, um, again, golf clubs are a little bit harder to take pictures of. You really this right here, you know, I took this picture, uh, took the background out, then I used a little AI um, photography app and uh, put it, you know, on kind of a golf background to just uh, give it a little bit uh, more of emphasis on golf. But yeah, when you're taking pictures of golf clubs, um, you know, just kind of get the front and the back. You don't have to really worry about the real long shaft. It's kind of hard to get that entire picture. And then the club face here, so you can show the buyer, you know, is there any scratches or dings on it? But uh, these are all in really, really good shape. Um, then take a picture there of the uh, grip to make sure that the grip is okay. And there is the full picture. Again, really hard to see um, the whole thing, but you do want to get the entire um, item in one of your pictures. And then shipping these items, uh, really long items. I end up building these boxes myself. I do use the uh, post office um, priority uh, triangle shipping boxes. 
I use those as kind of a template. They're not quite long enough, but um, they do work. It's just a triangle fold, but I use that. I, I open up a box, lay it down. I kind of draw the shape on there, and I cut it out myself, fold it up, and ship it out. So it's really not that hard. Um, it's a little, little more intensive than just uh, shipping some clothing, but uh, they only cost about $10 to ship these out. Uh, you'd think it would cost a lot more being such an irregular shape. And the reason I don't use the USPS boxes um, it's just a lot more expensive to ship with them. Um, I use their boxes as a template. I cut out my own, uh, make them a little bit longer, and I use UPS. UPS is a lot cheaper for irregular big boxes like this. But anyway, this club sold for $48, and I bought it for $4. So again, all these golf clubs, really great items to be selling, especially during the summer. These are the kind of items you need to be looking for to help with that summer slowdown. Items that people are going to be using during the summer, going to be playing golf, going to be out there at the pool taking vacations. Try to find those items that people are really going to be using during the summer. All right, that's it for this week. Uh, again, I really appreciate everybody stopping by and watching these videos. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button um, if you see something you like. And uh, good luck out there with sales. And I hope everybody enjoys the upcoming 4th of July holidays. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.